Hi folks, thanks so much for joining us today. I wanted to take a moment before we get started to say thank you. Thank you for all of you that have subscribed, liked, and shared our videos. Thank you for viewing and coming back to view again and again. It truly is inspiring and we appreciate all of you. So again, thank you. All right, today we are making a Halloween themed tutu dress on a crocheted top. We're utilizing purple, black, and citrus green accenting it with glitter and shimmering tool. We're also going to do this at an angled or if you prefer pixie cut and we're also going to change the lengths of the tool as we go along. We're embellishing this with some glow in the dark embellishments. On the top we are going to take our pre-cut board that we've created there are some tutorials out there and I believe we have one that show how using a recycled box and cut into boards and measured out can take away the time it takes in cutting multiple layers of tool. If you're working with a roll, take the start point of your tool, put a piece of tape at the end, stick it on that board at the start point and just start flipping over and over and over again until you have the amount of tool that you require. If you are working with various colors, keep that in mind and keep that in your hat when you're doing the flipping so that way you know how many times you want to flip per color and you have a more even amount of tool if that's the style you're going for. We're using three four inch pieces of tool and all you got to do if you've got six inch wide tool is cut it down the middle Flip it over. Remember that you cut your tool double the length that you want it to be because you're going to fold it over as you put the tool on. Flip over your stack of tool in half and then cut your tool at an angle to get the pixie style effect. Now simply do a slip knot method. You're going to take and fold that folded piece of tool over. Squish the top part as small as you can. So that way it's easy to go through the crocheted top hole. Bring that out. Now once you've put the top part of the tool through the crocheted top hole, widen it with your fingers, take the tails up and make your slip knot. All right, let me see if I can say this better this time. Fold over your tool, pinch it at the top where you folded it at, put it through the hole on the crocheted top, open it up with your fingers, bring up the tails, put the tails through the hole you've created, pull gently, and you've made your first tool piece on the tutu dress. I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of this. You can see it as we do it, but I'm sure it gets monotonous watching me in slow motion do the tool pieces. And we'll continue on from there. As you can see, the tutu dress is really coming together now. We've added several layers of the various colors of tool. I have truly enjoyed making this. When you see the end result, I went a little tool crazy, but I love it. So if you want a more dramatic effect on the cut of your tutu layers, simply shorten it as you go up, shorten it dramatically instead of the way that we did it. We just shorten it a little bit. It's all based on your vision and the end result you're going for. Now the same goes for the embellishments. You can add the embellishments to more than just the tutu top. You can add them on a hair accessory. You can add them throughout the layers of tool. Key thing though, don't rely on the adhesive backing. You're going to use your trusty glue gun and some felt pieces if that's your preference on the top. I recommend them on the top just because you don't want that glue touching the skin. As you can see, ours doesn't look like it's totally different lengths. It just has a little bit of that effect, again, based on your preference. All right, so now you see why I say I went tool crazy. I think that this look is fantastic, though. Now for the fun stuff, we're going to add the embellishments. These embellishments were purchased at orientaltrading.com. They offer a lot of specials out there. We try to keep that on our Naomi-inspired Facebook page if we find a special for you. They have competitive pricing and a huge selection of crafting supplies. I am not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form except for being a loyal customer. I think these were were less than 10 bucks and I got 500 of them. All right, you've placed your felt piece inside of the tutu top. You've made your placements. This is where I want it. And now you've got your sticker. It's a foam sticker, glow in the dark. Not sure how long the glow in the dark effect lasts, but it, they're adorable. So that's not really a big concern for me. You can leave the adhesive back with the paper on it. If you do that, however, make sure that some of that hot glue gets on the adhesive and the paper. If not, you're going to have a piece of 
paper. At the end of it all, you're gonna have a piece of paper stuck to your crochet top and no sticker after the adhesiveness wears off. So make sure that you penetrate both areas. I take off the paper. I put a small amount of glue. Remember, less is more and you can always go up back and touch up with a little bit more glue, but you don't want that glue to be a big old dollop and then it get on your beautiful tool or big clumps on your crocheted top. So you can go back and do your touch up work afterwards. You can also utilize that fabric fusion glue, but I love my hot glue gun and it works best in my opinion. Put a small amount of the glue, pull your crocheted top away from what is holding your dress, all right? You don't wanna mess up your mannequin if you're working with the mannequin. We know how pricey those can get. So pull it a little bit away from it. Place your embellishment on the felt or the backing that you're using to keep the glue from the skin and press firmly, okay? And just hold that for about five seconds. After you've done that, you can let go. Hot glue dries really fast and move on to your next piece. Once you've put all of these pieces on, now do your check. Wiggle it, move it, pull it. And then if you see any areas that need a little bit more glue, then you can add the glue. Most likely you've added just enough for it to be sturdy and stay on for a long time. On a special upkeep note, I wanted to let you know that if you're using that fabric softener and water solution that I shared with you in another tutorial, or you're steaming your tutu because it has some wrinkles or for upkeep, all your upkeep things. I have tested these and because we use the hot glue, the embellishments are fine. And since they're foam, that water's not gonna do anything to them. So you can easily use your fabric softener and water solution and you can steam it. Because remember, you're never supposed to saturate your tutu. You're just supposed to mist it. That's all I've got for you all today. I thank you again so much for for continuing to show us your support by watching. Make sure you visit us on naomiinspired.etsy.com. We've got our links at the end and on our Google Plus page. Y'all have a great day. liked our video and our channel please subscribe we could truly use your support you can find all of our information on our various stores at our YouTube homepage and our Google Plus page CJ and Sons presents Naomi inspired we've also included some links for you at the end of each video don't forget to check us out on Facebook thank you so much for viewing